Nanaimo Lady Smith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. From the fracking wellhead through processing and transportation to end consumption, fracking gas releases fugitive methane emissions every step of the way. Methane is 80 times more potent than CO2 as a greenhouse gas in the first 20 years after it's released. This means right now, during this short window, to, we have to avert catastrophic climate change. Real climate action cannot succeed while we allow fracking in this country. Will this government ban fracking across Canada? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We certainly agree that uh, action needs to be taken in the very near term to address the catastrophic effects of climate change. As the throne speech committed, we will be moving forward in the very near term with an enhanced climate plan that will enable Canada to exceed its 2030 targets. Certainly, methane is an important component of that. As the Honourable Member likely knows, we put in place regulations with respect to reducing methane emissions uh, a couple of years ago, and those, uh, those are moving forward. We certainly will need to look at other methane emissions on a go-forward basis. That's all the time we have.